Hey everyone, welcome back to Punch Club. In today's video, we're going to be discussing my journey over the last six months when I started boxing. Join me as we discuss the progress I've made, reflecting on where I came from and where I plan to go. Stay tuned. Over the last couple months, I've gained some invaluable insights into the world of boxing. Having a knowledgeable coach has been such a blessing to me. Though absorbing information at my current level has its limits. I need to understand lesson two before I can understand lesson four, if that makes sense. I want to say initially when I started, I wasn't doing the personal one-on-one -on -one sessions. But later after I started it, I realized the massive benefits that comes with that and how much more you can learn. It's a lot easier on my coach to focus just on one person instead of 15, 20, or however many show up. Like most people, we started with the basics, focusing on the footwork and the stance, which is crucial elements no matter what kind of boxer you are. Private lessons helped me hone those individual punch techniques from mastering the jab, to perfecting the cross, to moving on to the nuisances of the hook, you know. We spent a lot of time going over each one. Each day was spent refining and discussing the techniques of each individual punch until we could build up to the point that we could start putting them together, start putting the combinations together. If my base was off, if my technique for my jab was off, everything else was gonna suffer. Come up here, come on. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hey everybody, this is Hank. And he's in here recording with me today and he is just being a nuisance. He just wants something. What do you need? What do you need? Go lay down. Oh boy. Go lay down. Get up on your couch. Get up on the couch. Go ahead. Get up there. Patience was key here. Rushing would only result in sloppy execution. And if I didn't spend so much time executing each individual element, then putting them all together wasn't going to be any better. Trusting completely in my coach's guidance, I dedicated time to perfecting these techniques, even outside of class, coming home, standing in front of the mirror, and just throwing it over and over again. And that goes back into those previous videos we talked about, about that tedious work. It might not be that much fun, but it's required. After some time of constant one-on-ones, you know, going to class every night, not missing it, I finally got the green light to start sparring, hard sparring. While doing that, some deficiencies surfaced. You know, that sparring is like an ultimate test to see that everything you learned, what can you make of it? And, uh, you know, working on body control, I had to work on minimizing my flinching, not letting feints get me as bad as they were getting me, and strategic thinking, you know, not just getting in there and throwing combinations. What am I trying to set up? The private sessions addressed specific shortcomings and those bad habits, and we really worked to start getting rid of some of those bad habits, addressing issues like excessive foot movement and refining those building blocks. We progressed to more advanced footwork, moved on to pivots, moved on different combinations and where to use them. Ultimately, understanding the strategy of boxing, not just getting in there and winging it, trying to set things up, starting to develop sort of a game plan. It's like a Lego house. We built the base, now we start to build up. Each week, go to class, go to the private sessions, then go to sparring, and it was like a repeat. Sparring showed good things, and it showed the bad things. And while we were trying to get rid of those bad habits, we were simultaneously building up those good habits and finding ways to use them more, sharpening those skills and putting them in our arsenal. Over months of doing this and understanding where I was wrong and understanding where I wanted to get, I was able to start planning not just one step ahead, I was able to start planning like three steps ahead, knowing, okay, if I do this, he's probably gonna do that, which allows me to land this. Having the patience to start setting that up and following it through the sparring session until I get to where I wanna get to. Sometimes it might take a little bit longer to land what I wanna land or work on that specific combination that I wanna get. That's why sparring's important. That works both ways though. Uh, not only was I realizing what I could do to people and land on people, but I was realizing what they were trying to set up on me. I was starting to recognize the patterns. Be like, okay, I know that they're trying to do this, so at this moment, I'm gonna block, parry, counter, all of the above. I still got so much work to do. You know, when you hit that certain point of exhaustion, 
or you have a bunch of punches coming at you, you start to lose some of that base. At least in my case, I do. And I have to be reminded, I gotta keep my ear open, listen to coach, listen to what he's trying to tell me. And that's, that's a good thing. That's how boxers learn. That's how people learn. You know, you're not just gonna get it right off the bat. These tests will help you learn. Over time, I started to really learn different progressions and not only how to land them, but how to really stick them. I've been very fortunate to train with guys that all care about each other and each other's progress. There's not really anybody that doesn't want you to get better than them or doesn't want to share anything with you to hold you down. Everybody wants to see everybody else improve there and that's great. I've said it before that boxing is, it's a slow, slow progress. You know, it's a slow build from where I came from to where I'm at now. But with that, I got a tremendous sense of pride. All that hard work is formulating into something that I can hold up and I can be proud of. I have zero intentions of slowing down and I don't see an end to this journey. I just want more and more and more and I just wanna keep studying it. I want more knowledge. I mean, so much of my day goes solely to just focusing on boxing. I know I'm at a certain skill level right now where some people might say, well, why even try? But in my mind, it's more of, I can't wait to reach that level. I can't wait to progress and get better and better and better. And it's the progress that makes it so much fun. Acknowledging that there is no perfection, I'm relentless in chasing improvement. This channel was created to document my boxing journey. and provide regular updates to you guys of where I've came from and where I'm at and where I'll be. While some things in the future will have to be undisclosed, I'm just not at that level yet. You know, me telling you guys what I'm learning right now isn't that much of a problem because it's the basics. It's what every boxer learns or should learn. I'm still working on building that solid base. You know, a house without a good foundation will crumble. I want to learn how to be unstoppable. Stay tuned for more updates, don't forget to hit that like button, and subscribe to keep following me on my journey. I know that my coach has so much more to teach me, and that's why every day I show up eager to learn and to improve. So huge shout out to him for that. I want to thank everybody for their support. I truly feel blessed to have so many people that back me in this goal instead of the opposite. My family as well has truly backed me on this journey, and I owe them so much thanks for that. That encouragement just fuels my determination to get better. Feel free to leave a comment below. I'm going to make sure I read it and I will respond to you. As always, guys, thank you for watching Punch Club and supporting the channel. See you next time. Good job. Good job, buddy.